Hi, welcome back to my cup of TV. I'm Jenny. JD. And Erin. So, we're back with BTS. I cannot wait to see our reactions to them actually at a concert. <laughs> oh, wow. That's just going to be I unreal. I don't to come with you two. Can I sit Is she just going to be sat somewhere and so be like, hi, cat? And you'll be like, I can't be associated with these you know people. How, you know how they do <laughs> the... You will. You know they do the fan cams on the mm. members. I think we just need one on us. <laughs> Oh, yeah, just a reaction <laughs> cam. That would be, yeah. You can show you a little GoPro and, like, yeah, if you don't want to be with us, you can be in the front and front <laughs> and just, like, stab it to the back of your head. <laughs> oh, so, I don't know these people. No. Would you sit with us or would you be, like, they're yeah. far too noob for me? No way, well, I'll sit with you. Yeah. Absolutely. I just, I can't wait. They're just, they're <laughs> unexplicably beautiful in real life and so talented. I think I've said to you on different videos that we're watching, like, Not Today and things like that. I, I, I do point them out to you. I'm like, literally, they do that live. Um, they do that dance move. Jin hits those notes. Like, it's, yeah, it's amazing. So what worries me is I know when I go to, I don't often go to concerts, but when I do, it's almost that I get swept up in, the only way I can explain it is like the mob, <laughs> mob mentality. mentality. Yeah. yeah. Because I'm just like, it's like something comes over me yes. and I go and The energy in the, in the you should come to is football. so good. Oh. But no, no, it's true. Energy is a thing. And so, yeah, there's amazing energy at the concerts. Um, I still always remember when Fake Love came on as, as the second song before the concert and you weren't ready. Bad chance scared the shit. Oh, I cannot she wait. She was not to ready learn for them. that energy of the fan chant of fake life. love. And I knew it was coming. Just that she said she was like, That's I'm ready. another favourite of my fake love. I rewind. Oh. I rewind the the fan chant. Oh, okay. Because it just I don't know what it does to me. It just it they just sound the fans just sound so perfect when they do it. They feel mm. like Oh it's practice. Oh, like yeah, fan no, chants no, are no, like mm. there's no messing it up. They, no. put, they put them up on the board sometimes, don't they? Yeah. Yeah, they do, they do. Um, but yeah, this is it. So we'll teach you the fan chants. And um, so before, for example, mic drop, it's all of their names and then BTS and in age order. So we'll teach you. Yeah, say all they of do them. it at the okay. beginning okay. of age order. Go okay. Go. okay, okay. Jin. Full name. Full name. Kim Sok Jin. No, I'm just going on who they're age, what, oh. who's oldest. Okay, I'm going Jin. Sugar. We've got no gold stars to give you. J-Ho. <laughs> RM. Jim in VJK. Yes. Oh. Yeah, so and you get and there's only one surname I need to know. My future one, which is Min. <laughs> Do you may call me Min Jenny from now on. Did the surnames I know in some cultures surnames work a bit differently. Mm -hmm. Their surname first. Mm -hmm. So Kim Sok Jin. So Sok Jin. The surname is Kim, there's just not yeah. loads of people named Kim. There's three members of BTS then... with the surname Kim, I believe. Yeah. So mm -hmm. what what would you yeah, be? Yeah, I know. So she would be Kim. <laughs> It it, like, how would you oh if she married sugar yeah, that's what, it would be min that's why i'm saying min, min. jenny ah. jk it's john 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 jungkook yeah park jimin i'm just uh, don't even Young. go there all right <laughs> <laughs> don't mention jimin cat one yeah. so is that the same for women then they have their surname for before unmarried women mm -hmm. yeah. so everyone has their surname yeah so is that not their first name no like, no yeah. they say family name and then Mm. But when you refer to people, obviously it's like um, you you would then just say um, Jin or you know Sugar. Although or whatever, I might so. switch mine around and be Jenny of House Min. <laughs> sounds very <laughs> regal, doesn't it? Yes. Do they have like Mister and Mrs and Ms and same as we do? There are some titles of which you can call someone, um, but I don't think it, that, that's more of a politeness level. And again, please correct me if I'm wrong. I'm still learning um, my hangle and everything, but um, I believe that it's it's a politeness level. So if you had to address somebody like your teacher or something like that, you do have levels of things. Is that what honorific means? Yeah, basically. Levels so there's of levels formality. of honorifics. Yeah. Okay. So there's language that you would use if you met, say, the queen, like ultra curtsy and really yeah. super polite well-mannered then there's kind of like how Not you me. would how up, Liz? <laughs> <laughs> then there's how you would speak to a potential employer in a job yeah. interview or your your An potential person. partner's in-law you know your future in-laws things like that yeah. yeah and then there's um polite but in polite but informal friendly mm. and then there's informal and then there's bun mal, which is like proper proper Us. street no yeah, yeah <laughs> basically Us. yeah proper street we are <laughs> But yeah, you know what I mean. Proper no honorifics, kind of, and it's. But it's funny because um, the thing that will 
determine how you speak to somebody and what level and that's why um from an outside perspective before you get your head around it people think korean is so difficult to learn because you can't just learn one set of language mm. you have to learn all of the honorifics and there are differences and then there's different dialects all around korea so there's a lot to learn my book says you're better off better better off learning the more formal first absolutely rather than offend someone by being too informal yes yeah and that's basically how you would determine of which level of honorific you would use um you always start off more polite and then it like say for example to an older person you respect your elders and when they give you permission and they say you can speak to me informally it's good with cool then you can drop and just go to a nice polite informal we're gonna watch um we watched Bloom and Grey, so we're going to keep it with the the, the mellow, the in the Beals. We're going to watch their cover of of Coldplay's "Fix You." So uh, MTV Unplugged. Whenever any artist does an Unplugged, they always get to do a cover. Um, but in their request to do that cover, they do obviously have to get permission from the original artist because yeah. this is an copyright. official kind of cover. Yeah, for copyright reasons. Now, this is really cool because um, BTS have been fans of Coldplay for a long time um, and Coldplay are notoriously fussy and protective over who can do covers of their music. They have turned down a lot of money when people and labels have requested permission to be able to do covers. So the fact that Coldplay gave BTS permission to do this is like a real massive compliment to BTS. So, um, and it's also because for Chris Martin, who wrote Fix You, it's very, very dear to him. Coldplay are very protective over their um, music. They're obviously songwriters and producers. They make it themselves. They're very, very involved in that process, as are BTS. So I think we can all understand why yeah. they're so protective over their work. Um, and Chris Martin wrote Fix You after, for his then wife, uh, Gwyneth Paltrow, when her father died. Her father was a really, really important person for her. And so he wrote Fix You oh, after she, when she was mourning. Um, so BTS said they decided to do their own cover of Fix You for ARMY in the midst of this pandemic when we're all mourning a different kind of loss. And they just wanted to put this out there for, for ARMY. And a lot of actual loss Yeah, as well. absolutely. I never knew that that song had had that backstory. And you, as soon as you know when you say something, you suddenly think, oh, all those lyrics suddenly make so much sense mm -hmm. and have so much significance. Were well, they about to have more See, significance for yeah, you? I, I cried my ass I, off when I watched I this. I know the song, but I'm not really a fan of Coldplay, so it's not one I would have chosen to listen to a lot. So mm -hmm. if I've heard it, it's because mm -hmm. it's been on the radio or yeah, something. Well, you can tell it's definitely a, a personal song. Yeah, for sure. And as Jenny has already realised, um, BTS are so good. Uh, whenever they do covers, mm. or like JK just whacks off a cover on SoundCloud, mm. she's like, I don't like the original, but I like BTS's version. No, so who knows? It came up on TikTok and JK was singing, I was just like, oh. Yeah. So who knows? Even though you don't like Coldplay, you may be turned yeah. on to this song. So, I wouldn't say I hate them or anything. It's just mm. not something I would choose to listen to. No, no, fair dues, fair dues. There's... But again, there, there may be songs of theirs that I haven't heard because I don't choose to listen to them that I would like. Mm, yeah, you never know. <laughs> Half the time I find out that there are songs of people's that I do know and I do like, but I have no idea that it's theirs. It was, you just didn't know it was yeah. by them, yeah. yeah. Okay, so anything mm. else to say on this one? Oh, I'm a bit, just... I'm a, I'm a, I feel a bit like it's okay. going to be very yeah. heavy. Now that, especially now you've told me that extra meaning, yeah. And that you we'll cried. We'll see. Okay, put myself together. Uh, oh, that's I've it. I've okay. never seen you cry. You were saying about V, about blue and grey, and that knowing how his mind works, and he is, he's a beautiful little weirdo. I say that, that's like a really, like, um, I say that with really loads of affection. Like, I say oh, you're no, a beautiful I, little weirdo, I love, I love that, that. Because it's, if everyone was the same, it'd be so boring. Exactly. Exactly. Normal's overrated. Be a weirdo. Mm. Embrace it. Love it. I would but... feel so proud if you said that. But if you just grabbed me <laughs> to someone like an that. awesome little weirdo. Love little it. weirdo. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I was still doing that really well. I yeah. like it. Well, um, so saying that where you were saying about knowing V and what he wrote and things like that. Uh, Is this in the order that it's played? If I, that they I believe it? so. Yeah. I think they opened with telepathy. Then it was blue and grey. Then I think it's fix you. Then it was life goes on and then dynamite because they do they, they sort of have the intro with telepathy and then it's like slowing it down getting to in the feels and then up. bringing it back I was up yeah say, because if they threw in after um oh my god i've even forgotten what's called blue and gray 
dynamite after that. I think I no, probably would have no, wouldn't work. Kind of See, bit it. they're smart. They take you on the emotional journey. They know. Is that why we need to do the album listens that people are yeah. asking about? Well, this mm. it tells a story as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. So, I like it. Okay, good, good. Question over. They're on stools. It's gonna kill me. Are they in white on stools? <laughs> we'll see. Oh no. Oh, you felt you're already starting. Think I'm obsessed with Jimmy. Okay. It's just amazing. To her, really. Yeah. watch them sitting on stalls and not even singing and be completely mesmerised. I'd always worry if I was the next one to sing that I'm going to miss my cue.
see you cry. You got cat in tears no, again. Fine. No. No, I was alright. I was going, yeah. but I was like, mm. it's just such a yeah. You can feel a lot no, in that, that song. Beautiful. I think it was lovely. I love how they paired up the vocal line with one of the rap lines. So everyone yeah. got to sing, even though they're not the strongest singers as the vocal line. Well, there you would have a, um, a bass or yeah. a baritone and then a, and then a, a higher. Yeah. So it's, yeah. But I like how really, they did really that. Good. So no one was left out. Mm. But, but then no one was made to feel like that sounds better because they're a really good vocalist. No, it was, it was, it was like harmonies. Yeah. It was brilliant. So mm. the, he was in the middle, wasn't he? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So he was just gorgeous and I knew he would be, but, my favourite pairing was Jim, Jim and, and RM. RM. Mm. And RM, I was like, it's like they heard me say, oh, these are who I'm really like intrigued by at the moment. And then they <laughs> gave me them. And I'm glad I'm really far away from her. Cause... Yeah, I think it was when it came back in from the instrumental bit and Jim yeah. started, I just, just think, oh, wow. Yeah, yeah it's beautiful. Do you know it's what amazing. I more thought? I was like, do you understand now why I never... I have never changed, so I've picked yeah. him, and that's yeah. it, and I've stuck with it. Because obviously I've seen more of the vulnerable stuff, yeah. I guess, than you guys had, obviously, up to this point, And that's why I think, because... But know. I think for me, for that, with Jimin in particular, my oh, wow, was not my normal kind of oh, wow. Normally it's oh, 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 Jimin. But mm. this was just like, oh, wow, this is mm. oh, so pretty, and wow. Mm. <laughs> yes, yeah. lovely. And I, I don't know, I when I first watched that obviously it was no I've, I've seen it quite a few times now but it does it still makes me feel stuff but when I watched it I got I cried because I just felt like all of the lyrics were so relevant and I felt like they were singing in pain as well like they were talking about their pain you know and, and just it's so sweet such a sweet sentiment of like I'm in pain as well but I'll still try and fix you I'll still try and be there for you if, if that will help it's another thing about them doing that in pairs made me feel like they're almost singing to each other as well mm. like that they fix each other mm. that makes me emotional just saying that bit oh. <laughs> yeah mm, i mean that. they have said that when they're away from each other when they have times on vacation or whatnot you know they said they feel like naked they feel like they've, they've lost something I and they, they they don't have to function without each other re-watching some of the solo videos that you know at the end of epiphany they were all there in the, the car thing at the back mm. In like Dechita, there's always six around him. Yeah. And in you chicken know? noodle soup, I told you yeah, about how he had six, six backup dancers and it's to almost, make it the seven. Yeah, and whether that's a conscious, I want seven because there's seven of us, or because it's just I feel comfortable when this there's that many people. Mm. You know, that's what I'm used to having, and it feels weird to have less people. Like maybe they're not even aware of it. Yeah, yeah. It's like how yeah, how many people like in your aura, like just your space, you're used to it. Mm. How you're feeling. Um, I will say about this song, obviously it was beautiful, but the thing that always gets me the most about this song in general, and songs like it, is the instruments, like mm. the, it's when it builds, Yeah, I can't, I can't describe it, but there was that right close to the end, and it's that build up right before they just bring you and to the And then they close. strip it back, yeah. And writing music like that not just the lyric but writing that it it floors me and that's why i really love um not just like classical music but anything that just takes you on that journey mm. without telling you anything about it and i guess that's actually one of the reasons why i really like bts because i don't half the time know what they're saying but i still feel like i can go on that whole entire journey mm. Yeah, without yeah. knowing a thing. Absolutely. RM has said at a lot of his um, ending speeches at the concerts, he said how music is an international language mm. and it doesn't matter if we speak different languages, music is universal and that's how we connect. Well, so it's like we've true. said before, classical music has no words yet it can give you a feeling. Mm. Or opera. Like, opera is so powerful oh, and yet you, oh it's God. usually in Italian. So, so that was BTS uh, Fix You. Mm. Beautiful. Do I feel fixed? <laughs> no, I feel fucking broken. <laughs> the irony. It healed yeah. me a little bit. It was nice. <sighs> Very lovely. I just wonder if we're going to be able to get that on SoundCloud or something, because I would really like to have that version on my phone mm. to play it. Do you know what I mean? Not just on that video. Going so. back to what we were saying before, did Chris Martin say why they gave permission? 
Um, they, they haven't. Maybe they sent them a version and then they liked it. They or? haven't said no. BTS are fans of Coldplay anyway, so they knew the song. Yeah. Um, and then they asked permission. BTS chose this one for their reasons. No, I mean, um, did they but, record them singing it and send it to Chris Martin? No, so no, they didn't. Then... They didn't see it until um, the MTV Unplugged, okay. as far as I'm aware. Um, but Coldplay put on Twitter to BTS saying that they loved it in Korea. So that was BTS's cover of Fix You. Uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one.